Hey everyone, welcome to One Minute Music Tips. We'd like to show you how you can connect the Traktor S4 or any other MIDI controller mixer to a DJ software. So in the previous video, we took you through how quickly you can stop mixing if you don't have DJ equipment, physical DJ equipment, or if you don't have any songs as well, because we introduce you the DJ Pro application, which actually can connect to Spotify. So as long as you have internet connection, you're connected and you can start practicing and mixing. So today, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that to a next level, show you how you can get a better mix by being able to control the, the software by your MIDI controller. So today I'm going to be using the Traktor S4 to connect to my DJ Pro app. By the way, with Traktor, most people, well, uh, everyone I've seen, they say you cannot use Traktor as a MIDI controller because it only works with Traktor application. That is not true. All you need to do basically connect your, do your setup like normal you normally do. So put your Traktor in front of you, set the outputs for the sound, connect your USB, connect the power, take the USB cable and connect it to your, which looks like this, connect it to your USB port on your computer. Then launch the DJ Pro app. So I'm gonna launch that now. There you go. That's the DJ Pro app. It's coming up. So at this stage, what we need to do is to check if it reads the tractor. So the tractor is on. Now the computer automatically picks up that you put the USB through. It says I can recognize the tractor S4. So I said, okay, fine. That's good. That is great. So now I'm going to test. Nothing's happening here. It's not reading. None of the lights are on because now it's on the tractor mode. So in order to convert this into a MIDI controller, so you can use it with any other DJ software, hold the shift button and the preview, yeah? It comes on, the light comes on, but it's a bit dimmer than your usual tractor lighting. So that's on the MIDI controller mode now. If, but the thing is, if I move anything, it doesn't read it because what it does, the computer says, okay, I recognize your tractor S4, but I don't recognize the knobs and the functionality of them. So this doesn't matter if you use Traktor or any other MIDI controller, this is the same situation. So if you connect them, it doesn't work right away. You have to stop mapping. So go on your DJ Pro app, go to the MIDI section on the top, go to your Traktor and on the Traktor, then you see nothing's there, yeah? As I move the faders, you will see something comes up. There you go, yeah, that's the fader. So now the DJ pro program understands this is a fader, but still doesn't know what this fader is assigned to, which channel, what it does. So what you need to do, say, okay, this is the fader. I target this fader to my channel one, which is this side of the tractor. This is actually a volume but the volume wouldn't be on the deck one section. So you need to go to a mixer because you want to mix. Yeah, go to the mixer. Under the mixer, it's a channel one line volume. Yeah, choose that one. So that's done. The next one, I want to set my low frequency. So I move that one, that comes up. I say channel one, then that would be a low frequency. Then I go to the next one. Again, channel one, I want it on mid. Then the last knob on this channel, recognize it, I say that would be the high. So these four are set up. You can figure out the rest yourself as you play with it that you can assign. But that's the basic things that you need to start mixing two tracks together. So you got the highs, mids, lows, and the fader. Yeah, we're just gonna test that for one side now. So. I'm connected to Spotify, I'm logged in, so I'm just gonna drag a track there, yeah. And I'm just gonna see if everything works now. I'm just gonna play the track, the track is playing. And voila, there you go. So that is working. The highs are working, as you can see, I cut the whole thing. 
Yeah. Yeah. Everything is there. So once you set up your both side, then you can start mixing. Yeah. So this is how you can actually connect a Tractor S4 to any other DJ program. So first thing, connect your Tractor into the computer, load your application, change your Tractor into the DJ mode for MIDI controller, not DJ mode to use with the Tractor application. And to do that, you need to hold the shift and the preview. Then the computer starts reading it, but then you have to assign the knobs and the fader in order to get the DJ Pro program understands what knob and what fader does what. And then you can start mixing. So please watch the next video if you want to know how you can do professional mixes in more details. These are sequences. I'm going with a short video as I prefer short videos and straight to the point. So please watch our future videos. We will be going into the depth of mixing different genres, sampling, looping, and much more to get you sound professional. So keep on practicing and good luck.